Hello everyone, this is Dr. Nikita here and today we are learning some mnemonics related to mucopolysaccharidosis, very very important. So which of the following is X-linked recessive? Hurlers, hunters, morchios or gotchos? Remember that majority of the metabolic disorders are autosomal recessive. We have one exception in mucopolysaccharidosis that is hunters which is X-linked recessive. So we can remember this as that a hunter uses an axe for hunting. X is basically X. So remember, hunters is X ring. Hurlers, morchios, gotchers, these would be autosomal recessive. Very, very important, which is the sphingolipidosis, which is X ring recessive. Rest all are autosomal recessive. Remember, Fabry's disease. Fabry's hunters are X ring recessive. Let us see the next question. What is the enzyme deficient in hunters? So remember, hurlers and hunters, the MPS. The trick to remember is hide, right? The trick to remember is hide. That means H stands for hurlers and hunters. They have ID, that is something related to iduronic acid. That is the enzyme, either L-iduronidase or iduronic sulfatase. We will see that. And they have accumulation of heparin sulfate and dermatin sulfate right so hurlers hunters they have the accumulation of heparin and dermatin sulfate so h for h there is heparin sulfate d for dermatin sulfate right so iduronic acid dermatin sulfate accumulates now which one has iduronidase and which one has iduronate sulfatase so when we write hunters okay when we write hunters so PE tells you that it is iduronate, right? So hunters will be iduronate sulfatase. Iduronidase would be hurlers. Sphingomyelinase is Nimenpix disease. And beta-glucosidase, beta-glucocerebrosidase is Gaucher's disease, right? So iduronate sulfatase. Next question, accumulation of which of the following is seen in hurlers and hunters? Remember, it was hide. So you have a heparin sulfate, a dermatin sulfate, which accumulates, right? That accumulates in hurlers and hunters. Another important point, hunters does not have corneal clouding. So imagine hunter hunting with an axe and the hunter requires a very, very good vision, a very good sight to hunt for the animal. So hunter should not have corneal clouding. Remember, hunters does not have corneal clouding. So these were some of the important tricks in mucopolysaccharidosis. Again, I've taken that in detail in one of the PLUS sessions. All the PLUS subscribers, iconic subscribers can watch that session for entire chemistry, the structure and the various enzymes manifestations of mucopolysaccharidosis. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Take care and keep studying, keep revising and keep winning.